Good morning, radiant and beautiful lights. There is undoubtedly a higher power orchestrating the events within this boundless universe we inhabit. The creator of this masterpiece we call life is carefully placing everything into its rightful place. Every individual has a predetermined path, a unique journey that will unfold as their life progresses. Some souls are born with a profound purpose, destined to fulfill a higher calling during their time on Earth. These particular souls are entrusted with a divine mission, following a path guided by the most enlightened teacher. We refer to the beings who inhabit these bodies as the chosen ones. Each generation sees the rise of these divine beings selected to guide the growth and evolution of humanity. The Chosen Ones possess a higher vibrational frequency, granting them access to a greater reserve of energy than most. This allows them to facilitate the ascension of both humanity and the planet itself. However, many Chosen Ones face hardship early in their journey as they often prioritize the needs of others above their own well-being. In a world where most follow the crowd and conform, being chosen is no easy task. You are someone who thinks beyond conventional limits, seeing through what the majority accepts as the norm. Recently, we've received numerous comments from our audience expressing feelings of being lost and hopeless, it's a sentiment that a lot of us can empathize with and understand. Therefore, we went ahead and created this video to jog everyone's memory that you are not your physical bodies, but rather your souls. Your physical form serves as your vehicle, but it is not synonymous with who you are. The chosen ones can be found in every imaginable form, hue, and dimension across the entire world. To complete a soul mission, achieve a spiritual triumph, or elevate the vibration of the world. The souls that have lived many lives and have an understanding of the laws of the universe are the ones that are most likely to be picked. The world as a whole has become desensitized. It will make you believe that your sensitivity is a flaw or a curse. Despite the fact that nothing could be further from the truth, your sensitivity is one of your greatest strengths. Your sensitivity, along with the desensitization that pervades the globe, makes it impossible for you to function in today's society. Your perspective on life is highly unique in comparison to that of the individuals around you. Because of this, people are unable to comprehend what you are saying and they are not expected to comprehend what you are saying. You were the one who was selected. You are expected to have this understanding. The Chosen Ones are obligated to participate in and survive a significant number of conflicts during their lifetimes. They will go through a lifetime of anguish and distress, but this is necessary in order to fortify, empower 
and otherwise prepare them for the work that lies ahead of them. Your starting point is intended to be challenging, since you are the chosen one. When you've been through the shadows yourself, you can help others navigate their way through them because you are enduring a great deal of anguish and suffering. A great number of other individuals will be spared each and every ache, each and every suffering, each and every test, and each and every ordeal serve a purpose, and none of them are ever in vain. They are designed to help you develop your spiritual gifts and guide you toward wisdom so that you can contribute to the improvement of the world around you. To save the world, you need to have a sensitive personality. One must possess a high level of sensitivity in order to sense the suffering of others. Even you have the impression that no one truly gets you or understands what you are going through. Even close friends and members of your family do not understand you as well as they believe they do. Your family dynamic is almost always the most difficult challenge you face and the source of the majority of your stress. Your beginning was always intended to be challenging. You were always intended to be surrounded by people who didn't respect or understand you so that you could cultivate your capacity for healing and your wisdom. When interacting with the wrong individuals, chosen ones will always find themselves in the midst of spiritual turmoil. Because of this, it is of the utmost importance to guard your energy and continue along the path that will allow you to lead others through setting positive examples, rather than through impulsive outbursts that are the result of persistent narcissistic abuse. You take a completely different turn than everyone else does, while they take the main path that is well-traveled. You enter through the smaller gate, while everyone else is rushing through the larger gate. This gate is the one that leads to life, love and greater light. Try not to let the world make you too comfortable. Avoid moving in the same direction as the herd at all times, and instead, forge your own path. They are easier to direct from the outside. Because of this, you will have the impression that you do not belong in this world. In all honesty, you're only passing through here in order to protect yourself from having negative thought patterns or being taken advantage of by other people. You need to connect to yourself Stay grounded and keep your frequency as high as possible. Foster your intuitive abilities and make use of them to guide you away from negative people, circumstances and thoughts. Separate yourself energetically from people and environments that do not contribute to your development as a whole. Remember, in this dark world your light shines and many powers that are darker do not want your light to shine. Be mindful, love and accept yourself. Provide forgiveness to others and have a grounded perspective. People are not flawless and not everyone is out to get you. When making your projections, use common sense and do everything in your power to conserve energy. Chosen ones are born awake but the tests and challenges of their lives caused them to experience emotions of a lower frequency. They will eventually be roused from their slumber by something that will make them feel as though they are losing their minds. Their awakening lifts them out of a lower vibrational state and into a higher vibrational state that is more angelic. A frequency shift is what they are sensing right now. Their perspectives might alter as a result of this encouraging development. They might get the urge to quit some bad habits all of a sudden, call someone they haven't talked to in a while, or even begin a spiritual practice. 
Those who have been chosen do not actively engage in activities that are intended to hurt others, because we tell them the truth, even if they don't want to hear it. The vast majority of the time when they hurt other people, it is because of their fragile egos. They do not derive any pleasure from exercising authority over others, nor do they derive any pleasure from witnessing the suffering of others. Remember, as one of the chosen, it is our responsibility to act with kindness and compassion toward others. We should always aim to avoid causing harm or suffering. Instead, let's focus on sharing truth, fostering growth and helping others heal. Together, we will navigate this journey. By staying connected to our YouTube channel and spreading this wisdom as a chosen one, you'll begin to experience boundless abundance and prosperity in your life. If you tune in daily, you'll cultivate a complete fifth dimensional consciousness, living in a state of love throughout your current 3D reality. Be sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell to receive all notifications so you never miss our daily updates. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share your comments below. As always, we love you deeply, wish you to have a more abundant, enjoys life possible. Have a wonderful day. Is the color that lies within